hello misery mama here my name is nina and today we are going to make a feather trinket tray i have the mold inside out right now so i can dust it with some powders so i'm going to use these nyart mica powders and these are the mermaid colors well this one's rainbow gold but so these are white base but they shift a color so this is rainbow gold we got mermaid green mermaid blue mermaid purple and mermaid red I'm going to start with mermaid gold. I mean, I kind of have them in an order to where, like, mixing them, they would make a color, kind of. Hard to explain. I'm going to start down where the feather tip is. I'm going to get some of this gold down in there if I can. I'm much out of focus there. And I'm going to go in with the mermaid green. View again. Now the mermaid too.
Ooh, that was a lot. Mermaid purple. And then mermaid red. I'm trying to turn it inside out without touching where I put the dust because fingerprint fingers can remove some of that because of the oils in your hand. Resin to put on there. I'll probably just dust this off into the resin too. Oh, I love the back. Alright, so I'm back. I mixed up some of this Arkenstone um, one to one ratio resin. I mix up quite a bit because I don't know how much I need and I'm going to use it for more than one project. So for now I'm just going to pour off some into a smaller cup. white 
pigment paste. And I just put it in the powder that was left over all over my table. So put in a little bit of the paste. I'm going to add some of this white mica that has the pearly flip to it. Gonna add a little bit more of this resin. And I'm going to start to pour this in here slowly. Hopefully this angle helps you see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Start flowing down there for a minute because I think you gotta make sure it goes into the into this feather pretty good. So far it doesn't feel like it any has. A couple there.
hoping that I got all the air out of there. for air pockets. Alright, and there we go. I'll be back to demold it. For the demolding, so the feather is all the way cured, and to get a little piece of lint right there, or hair or something. So I can zoom this out a little bit. There we go. Maybe that helps. Oh, that came out pretty easy. back out and let's see what the other side looks like. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take this out in the sun and I'll put a clip at the end of it outside in the sunlight so hopefully you can see some of those colors. There's a little black dot right there. Probably something came off of my brush right there and right there and right there. A few little dots I came off of my paintbrush when I was painting it in there. But the colors are really pretty in there. I think in the sunlight and natural light they really shine the colors. But I think it's really pretty. It's not super pretty and it's a good size. I really like the coloring. Oh, it's got more than one color. It'd be really cool to go in here with and kind of break the colors up even more. Do smaller sections, maybe. So definitely one I'm gonna play with. It'd be cool to leave the stem part uncolored. I kind of want to try to do like some sort of like peacocky looking design, even though it's not shaped right for a peacock feather. Because the stem wouldn't go up as far and this part would be shaped differently. The way the... Um, I can't remember what they're called. My dad had a bunch of birds when I was growing up. So I used to know what the little pieces would be called. But I can't... Like the little strands of the feather. No, I can't think of it. But yeah, they're not in the right shape for a peacock feather. But I still want to do something kind of peacocky because I love peacocks and their feathers. But I would never go like pull a peacock's feathers off. <laughs> That'd be horribly mean. So, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. Make sure you let me know what you think down below. If you want to see this in natural light, make sure you watch till the end because there'll be a clip of it out in the sunlight to show off the beautiful colors in some natural lighting. And thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it is wonderful. Thank you so much. If you like videos like this, please make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.